He alleges to be the Pope while he teaches that people are free to reject the papacy. He alleges to be the leader of the Christian faith while teaching that our Lord Jesus Christ doesn't even have to be seen as the Messiah. So don't be fooled if Benedict XVI, inspired by the devil, makes some conservative gestures to keep people in the Vatican II apostate religion. Don't be fooled if he makes the traditional mass more widely available or reaches out in other ways to traditionally minded groups. The devil will concede all of this just as long as one accepts Benedict XVI's new religion or accepts Benedict XVI and his apostate bishops as Catholics, while they teach that Jesus Christ and the Catholic faith are meaningless. It is predicted in Catholic prophecy that in the final days there will be a massive apostasy from the Catholic faith from the city of Rome itself. This is because it comes from antipopes who are posing as true popes and who have created a counterfeit sect. Our Lady of La Salette, France, September 19, 1846, quote, Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. The church will be in eclipse. Our Lady of La Salette tells us that Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist, and that the church will be in eclipse. This coincides with the prophecies in sacred scripture Apocalypse 17 and 18, that the city of seven hills, Rome, will become a harlot. The great harlot prophesied in the Bible is not the Catholic Church, it is the counterfeit Catholic Church, the Vatican II sect, the apostate phony bride, which arises in the last days to deceive Catholics and eclipse the true church which has been reduced to a remnant. We can see that Our Lady's message at La Salette, France has been fulfilled before our very eyes. Benedict XVI and the Vatican II sect teach that Jews are perfectly free not to believe in Jesus Christ. This is published in Benedict XVI and the Vatican's own 